just got to the second location. Um, getting ready to set up. Gonna need to figure out a scan plan here. Also, just got word. Somebody is here. Somebody's here with a Faro unit. How many times have you used your Faro? Oh, I do that pretty much every week. Yeah. Every week? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is our second day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get the opportunity now to review this thing as people that have one day of experience and are you know, getting into it. So, okay. not one day of research, but one day of hands-on. Uh -huh. You're going to the tunnel? Not to the tunnel, but yeah, there's, there's a small staircase that goes down and it goes to the tunnel. Okay, and on this episode of Ghost Hunters. <laughs> so you said there was a tunnel that led all the way to the river. All the way to the river. Oh jeez, this really is a tunnel. Holy yeah. crap. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Alright, this is as far as anybody's been so far. So is that yeah, is, is that the tunnel in the question the down there? I think if you go down that way, you are I don't yeah, wow. Sure. There's no lot of sites. You could even take a bunch of different information. Oh, Especially when it's like geotag. That's um, killer. So, that you can so all right, so it actually there's light out through here. Yeah, I think that goes that backyard. Um, there's a snake? Snake snakes. It's a ship. Flip no, man. It's a ship. <laughs> like Indiana Jones, I don't do snakes. <laughs> it had to be snakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, there's like a, another hole back there. Like, that thing goes pretty far back. This is probably one of the creepier places I've ever been. Just it's up there. FYI. <laughs> All right, enough goofing around. We actually have to scan something now, I think. We're gonna go check out the competition. I mean, the Pharaoh. So the way this, this sets up, so on the X7, when we set it up, you can tweak it a little bit, but it's got the low standard high resolution. Yeah. I know for the X330, this looks the same. You're setting up indoor, outdoor, what your range is. You can also set up point distance density. This is all pre-job stuff that you're gonna set up, go through and set all these different things. Next, when he moves indoors, he'll set up the, he'll come back in the same menu, hit indoor. It's, it, it has to do with the amount of points that it takes. I think the way the camera's set up when it takes its pictures. With the Faro, the, the pre-job setup takes a little bit longer. With the Trimble, you create job, name it, done. Yeah. What's your typical run time? I took, uh, seven, I'm normally I use a seven, but now I use a five minutes, just a little lower. We don't need a super high for this. Yeah. Quite a small bit. I, I'm still not seeing a downside in the comparison. Which which is better? And I think in result, your scan data is where that determination will be made. Yeah. And yeah, the scan data is everything. Seen, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. This is really a good test because we're taking a complete buffoon and putting him up against a smart person. <laughs> Will the buffoon prevail? Who knows? If he does, it's because he's got a better toy. <laughs> That's generally the only reason why. It's not yeah. because of smarts. Eddie, I have a situation report for you. He just started scan number three, so. Okay. Just letting you know. A few moments later. Did the tablet die? Uh, what happened? Eddie did not 
plugged the tablet in last night. I plugged the head unit batteries in last night, but not the tablet. I was very diligent about the one battery that we had for the head unit, even though we've got two spares, three total. But not tablet, which, you know, I mean, gotta have both. So in summary, you're a moron, <laughs> but Thanks. you know. Thanks for that. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, Just sure. keeping you humble. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. I appreciate you. So far, the worst thing that has happened with the X7 has been the battery running out on the tablet. We are trying to find out if that's hot swappable. Um, I think there might be one in the bag. We'll see. Uh, Eddie forgot to charge it last night. Forgot to charge the tablet. He charged the batteries for the scanner itself, uh, but didn't charge the battery for the tablet. So we will see what that takes to get it up and running again. If it's not hot swappable, that's kind of a problem because, I mean, if we run out of juice, we can't keep scanning. So, we will see. And so walk me through what you're dealing with real quick. So we're trying to get scan seven and eight, which I believe is... Seven is right there. Seven's over there. And eight is there. Eight's there. okay. Okay. I'm trying to find common, common surfaces. So we're going to try that door again. Nope. And that is a wrap. The learning curve was with the registration where early on in the process we were looking for big things to like try to object orient. We started picking small things, which makes a little more sense. Something we just kind of self-train on. Um, once we did that, things started registering a lot faster and I don't know, I mean, that probably kind of went away. Um, so, uh, another thing is the small rooms are, I think, tough no matter what you're doing. Yeah. There's, it's just tough to cut all of the angles to get everything. That's probably just scanning 101. Um, not something that's just like took us off guard, but it was a consideration in the amount of time spent. Because we bogged down where there were a lot of rooms, and then we, we were cooking by the time we got outside, which was a good thing, because we were cooking in more than one way, because it was about 101 degrees out there with 100% humidity. It was hot. Yeah. Was the joke was you were like, hey, I actually want to do it. It's like, um, okay, well, come over and hit the start button. After that, the only trouble was like, did it register or didn't it? I think the hardest part of today was the freaking heat, man. It was hot. Hot <laughs> as, who scheduled this? Huh? Who scheduled this? Yeah, who? Who the flip? Oh, that's the scanner. Yeah, no. Who the flip scheduled this ridiculous adventure? Eddie! Anyway. Hi. All right. To the home fortress. To the home fortress.